happens when two musicians fall in love and then break up? Well, fans get songs all about the split, of course. Niall Horan's new song, What a Time, is believed to be about his failed romance with Haley Steinfeld. I've got the answer, if it actually is. And it's a sad day for K-pop fans. We just learned that EXO's Kai and Blackpink's Jennie have decided to part ways. All those details coming up right now. Oh, and can't forget that we also need to talk about Brooklyn Beckham. He and his girlfriend Hannah Cross, the chick that is a lookalike to his mother, are getting super serious. Stick around for the inside scoop. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Devin Howard. When I was younger, I always dreamed of dating a musician until I realized that the details of our breakup would most likely make it into a song like it did for Haley Steinfeld. After months of dating, Haley and Niall called their low-key romance quits in December. It was a sad day. I really liked them together as a couple. Shortly thereafter, fans started thinking that their relationship ended on a bad note because Haley seemingly shaded her ex a couple of times. In particular, when she reposted something Julia Michael Michaels had shared that said, New Year's resolutions stop dating narcissists. And then Haley added, God bless you, Julia Michaels, preach it. Of course, the singer denied it was about her ex, but come on, that's a sub story if I ever saw one. Well, now, funny enough, Niall's new song, What a Time, appears on Julia Michaels' new EP, Inner Monologues Part 1, and it's all about missing your ex and reminiscing on the positive times you had together. So let's think about this logically here. Niall is recently out of a relationship, right? a song about missing his ex. The song appears on Julia's record. She's a mutual friend of Niall and Haley. Very interesting. It's pretty obvious who this song is about. Listen to it for yourself. I know we didn't end it like we're supposed to And now we get a bit tense he then goes on to sing how he thinks about the good times and tends to forget about the bad times, so it sounds like the former 1D member regrets the way things ended with his gal. So far, Haley hasn't said anything about the song. The newly single singers are in good company, though, as another musical duo has called it quits, K-pop singers Jenny and Kai. The two only dated for a few months and had just gone public with their romance at the beginning of January before deciding the timing was just not right for them to be together. Their agency confirmed the split, saying that it's true they recently parted ways. Why? Dating in the K-pop world is typically looked down upon as the artists are expected to put their careers before everything, so some people are speculating that it was pressure from the label and management teams that caused these two lovebirds to ditch their romance. But there is one Hollywood couple who's going strong, and that's Brooklyn Beckham and his posh spice lookalike girlfriend, Hannah Cross. The two are very committed, and according to our source, they've been spending every single day together for the last few months. Brooklyn still lives at home and his parents have actually grown comfortable letting Hannah come and go whenever she wants, although our insider said that they're a little freaked out by how quickly the young couple are moving. But Victoria Beckham seems to be thrilled with her son's new beau. She gifted the model items from her collaborative Reebok collection, which Hannah gushed about on social media. This new duo is steady and stable, and so far, I'm liking them together. What do you think about these Hollywood relationships? Do you think Niall's song is about Haley, how do you feel about Kai and Jenny's breakup? And finally, are Brooklyn and Hannah in it for the long haul? Sound off in the comments and then make sure you subscribe.